Hello guys, this is Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be finishing the gun. So, here is the gun uh, coach, and here is the gun uh, motor rail. So these are two rolling stock that go along with the gun, and let me just show you uh, what it looks like. So if you don't know, the gun is an Australian train that goes throughout the whole country, <laughs> like the outback. And it is really long, I think it's like over a mile long, I'm not sure, so this kind of goes on quite a bit. I think I have like 30 coaches and uh, one of these auto racks, I think. Uh, they call it a motor coach or motor rail. But yeah, we're going to be building two cars in one video. So let's get started on this coach. So first off, we're going to take stone and have it two blocks above the tracks and three blocks wide. And we're going to make it 38 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. Okay, so that's 38. Let's do the rest. Going all the way back. Filling in this, you know. The coach is actually uh, longer than uh, the car carrier. Just so if you're wondering. Okay, so after we do that, we're going to take stone brick uh, slab, add a 2 by 3 at the very end, and then go over to the side, let's add a coupling here, and then uh, we're going to make this gangway, so that's going to be 3 blocks across this uh, slab, then let's add a 3 block tall cobblestone walls for the gangway, and uh, one in the middle of the slab. <clears throat> now let's do the other side. Hope my voice doesn't sound really weird. <laughs> then, uh, yeah, the coupling, gangway, let's start making that right now. Three blocks tall. Alright, so the next layer, actually, no, we shouldn't skip to that. Let's add uh, stone brick stairs on the sides. Like, whenever you see the stone, we'll place it down. Then the other side. Then the next layer, it's going to be a pain because it's a uh, stone slab, so you have to put like a uh, double the amount. You have to click twice as much, basically. So let's do that. So we're going to take a uh, stone slab. And I, I don't know, maybe fif 15 blocks. So 15 slabs, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then you want to make it a double stone slab. Then let's do it to this side as well. I'm just going to match it up. Come on. Alright, so let's do it <clears throat> on the other side as well. So 15, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Alright. Let's fill in the rest. And it appears to be like the center is not really in the center. <laughs> the logo, I mean. Well, it, it is almost. Because this side, it has a door. So, uh, that's why we have that. So, let's add uh, two more stone slabs on the front part where the door is going to be. And then, just one stone slab uh, doubled um, for that side. And then we're going to add a red concrete, right? No, red terracotta right here in the middle. And then that's going to be like the camel. Then we need a light gray wool alongside it. Like so for some detailing. And let's go to the front and open up this hole for the doorway. Now I'm going to use iron door for that. Just put in the slot. 
And on the sides, we're going to use uh, clay. Like the doorway next to the gangway. So right here, just use some clay. Make a doorway like so. And have it on the sides a little bit. Let's do the same thing on this side. So just make the doorway and add one to the sides like this. And we can actually add the eye door inside. Okay, that's all the doors. And let's now add this layer of uh, light gray wool right here. Going across the entire car. So this car does have a lot of different blocks to represent the different colors of gray. And we're going to go back. Alright, so next we're going to take, uh, let's see, let's add the wheel. So we're going to take hopper, add hopper right there for the wheel. We're going to skip one block away from that. And then let's fill in two more slabs after the hopper. Then the other hopper for the next wheel. Then let's add, uh, we're going to skip a block here and then add a slab right here in the middle three. Then we're going to repeat the process on the other side. So skip one for him from that slab. Hoppers, two slabs, and another hopper. Then we're going to skip one, add three across. Then we want to add to the sides, uh, just adding slabs, stone brick slabs. Right, so we're doing the same thing, and I'm keep on. Oh, that is annoying! I'm keep on walking on the slabs of the tracks, but we're almost done. Okay, so that's the bottom part, pretty easy. And now let's add. Um, oh man, the sweat going into my eyes. <laughs> okay, so next we're gonna add. Let's add the pillars for the windows. So there's gonna be like pairs of windows and um, you can see like this is a pair and then this is a two block wide pillar. So we're gonna have that pattern. And it looks like there's five pairs. So the first pair is gonna be right here. So just add clay, skip to clay, skip to clay, and then repeat the process. Clay, skip to clay, skip to clay. And you just want to keep on doing that, just making these pairs of windows with these two block wide pillars between them. I hope I'm doing that right. Alright, so it should look like that. And let's repeat the process on the other end. Okay, I'm just uh, matching it up so you don't have to really think when you're doing this. Okay. So now we can add the windows. So we're going to take uh, black stained glass, place it in like that. Putting in all the holes. Then let's do the other side. Okay, so next we're going to add the top part. So that's going to be a stone slab, a 2x3, right here in the front, uh, right at this door. So 2x3, and then we're going to add another brick slabs to the sides of it, so two of them, like that. You can do on both sides, and just fill in the rest with uh, stone slabs, so it should look like this. Just stone slabs, a lot of them. And after this step, I think it's pretty much done. I mean, what else is there to add to this? I think there is like different other variants of the gun passenger cars, but he only asked me to build this one, so that's fine. Uh, 
All right, so that's how you build the GAN coach. And now let's get ready to build the GAN motor rail. All right, so I got the supplies for the motor rail and let's get started. So first off, we're gonna use a uh, gray wool, two blocks above the tracks on the side. So it looks like this. And we want to make it so that it is uh, 31 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Now let's match up the other side. Going across. And for these ones, um, you can actually fit a car inside, but not a three block tall car, just a two block tall one. Maybe on the roof you could do like a little taller car though. All right, so next we're gonna take um, stone slab, add it in there here. And I said stone slab, but it means stone brick. So I just filling in the floor with the stone brick slabs. I guess I just have to walk on top of the tracks instead of flying. So let me finish all of them. Go all the way back to the other side. And this could fit, I think, uh, four cars on top. Like one block of space between it, and there's a little bit of headroom after that. So maybe it's like eight cars in total. Yeah. All right, so after we do that, we're gonna add the coupling. It's gonna like be dropped down right here. See the other coupling, it's a little bit raised, but it's fine. So uh, let's do the coupling on the other side. Like that, and actually we need to extend this by one like this. And this middle part also, because we need to do the ladders on the side. So let me extend this bit. All right, so next we're gonna go uh, skip these two blocks and start adding the gray wool on top. And we want to have it stick out like this. So we're gonna go extend it alongside the rest of the motor rail length. In Australia, they call it carriages or cars. Okay, so once we do that, you can see one block overhang from this one. Uh, we're going to repeat the process on this side. You can see the gun in the background. Okay, went a little bit overboard. Alright, so it should look like this. And let's start to add the ladders on the side. So that's going to be easy. We just use uh, upside down uh, stone brick uh, stairs. And then the last one, stone brick slab. Like so. And there's going to be ladders on all four corners. So let me add that. And this side. Alright, so now we can add uh, these pillars. So the first one, it's going to be two blocks of space and then pillar. Then two blocks of space, pillar, and then go to the other side, do the same thing. And then the next one is going to be three blocks of space. And so for the other ones as well. So we just skip three in the middle. And we should end up like this. And we're just going to make it tall and it just pops out to the top of it. So let me just add it, it's gonna take a while. Then you have to do the same thing on the other end. So you can just match it up the other side. Almost done here. Oh, I wonder if you can hear my computer. It's like really going off right now. All right. So once we do that, let's add this uh, light gray stained plane. I mean paint. I mean, did I say plane? 
All right, so that's gonna be two on this side, and we're gonna leave this corner alone. The same thing on this. And we're just gonna add it between all of the cobblestone walls. Like almost like a little net there is. Okay. I mean, the net actually goes down, but <laughs> you can't really add that when you have those um, those slopes down there. We're going to have to add those diagonals. So let's add the diagonals now. So first off, we're going to take stone brick stairs and make that shape. So it kind of goes upwards like that, like it goes that way. And it's the other one, it's going to be the same thing. And let's do the same thing on the other side. So this one, it just goes inwards like that, actually. Yeah. Make it right. Then the same thing right here. And just mirror the same exact thing on the other side. Then this corner right here. And then next, it's going to be a stone brick slab, but this time we're going to change the direction and it's all going to be like this throughout the entire thing. So even when it goes to the end, it doesn't change, or even the middle part. So I guess you don't have to worry about that too much. So let's uh, do this. So yeah, we're just making it like so. There's uh, two in the middle, <clears throat> one on the top and one at the bottom. This may take a while. Like that, and we have to do the same thing on the other side. And yeah, I just had it the same exact angle. You don't have to change anything. Oh great, I just messed that up. I need to fix that. Maybe if you do inside, it's easier or something. So yeah, I'm going to try to test out this. What if I just did this? Then we can do the top part. Okay, so after we're done with all those slopes, we have to add the second deck. So the upper deck, it's going to start the slabs right here. See, this is how much room that you're going to get with the car. But in Minecraft, you can't really place a car. It's going to be a little bit hovering, so <laughs> just keep that in mind. See, there's barely enough space right here. But if it was, like, you can actually use the space you could. All right, so let's just add the deck, and after that, we should be pretty much done. I mean, there's not much else you can do to this. Go all the way across as fast as I can. And then we should reach the end like so. And this is what it looks like. And yeah, that should be pretty much it on how to make the Great Southern Railway. I think it's called Great Southern Rail. Um, coach and uh, motor rail for the GAN. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And thanks again to Law Biscuits for commissioning this build. I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do please hit that like button below and subscribe if you hadn't already because i will be uploading more videos like this in the future and i will see you guys next time bye